Shalom. Um, I, I, I want to share a thought that I had today. You know, there's many, and, and, and take this, I'm, I'm going to let the word speak, not let, but the word shall speak as I read it. But the thought that I had is, do not be deceived. Do not be thankful. Be an example to the believer and the unbeliever. And what I mean by this is, if you're keeping the law, you're keeping the commandments, that means you love him and you are a believer. Now, it's not our job to condemn the unbeliever, but through us that believe and uh, learn to keep his law and learn to do his will, it is our job to be an example that the unbelievers may believe. Because uh, Yahusha said, he did not come to take lives, but to save lives. And that's why Yah sent him. Now the day of Yah shall truly come. And everything that he said is going to happen. He will lay hands on the heathens, the, you know, the Gentile nation, the heathens. He's going to do all that. But it's not our job to act prematurely and bring about his wrath before it's time. Our job is to be an example to the believer and the unbeliever that we may bring to pass Revelation 7. Um, uh, I forget exactly what, exactly what verse it is. That all the tribes shall be sealed and then after this, every nation that shall be saved shall be saved because of us. We're going to tell this truth. Let me read some scriptures. Romans 11, verse 1. I say then, has Yah cast away his people? Yah forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Yah has not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Would ye not that the scripture says, Elias, how he make an intercession to, to, to Yah against Israel, saying, uh, the Most High Sovereign, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars. I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what says the answer of Yah unto him? Oh, I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Now, have you doing? things out of his will like trying to bring or bring about an apocalypse before the time you you're bowing to the image of Baal. you're doing something out of his will even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace and if by grace then there's no more works otherwise grace no more grace but if it be works then it is no more grace otherwise work is no more work Matthew 3 and 9. And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you, That Yah is able of these stones To raise up children unto Abraham. He can raise up any of these Gentile nations To make them children of Abraham. And that's what he did. <laughs> and that's what he's doing. That's why he's going to be a number without number. Romans 9, 6 and 7. Not as though the word of Yah has taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Just because you of the tribe of Judah and, tri and, and tribe, and you say you're from all these na tribes, and neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they the children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. He's going to, uh, Judah, Is going to uh, take that calling, but just because you say that as your, your your judgments, your actions, your ways, your if you're not seeking righteousness and judgment according to God's righteousness and judgment, you're none of His. So not all Israel is Israel.
For I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are the enemies for your sakes. So he's speaking to the Gentiles. And we're the enemies to the Gentiles according to their, to their gospel. And it's for their sake. For the gifts and callings of, of Yah are without repentance. For as you in times past have not believed in Yah, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. See, the Gentiles obtained mercy through our unbelief. Even so have these also now not believed that through your mercy they, may, they also may obtain mercy. For Yah has concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all. So, all have sinned and fallen short of Yah. And this is his plan, that he may have a, a family from the nations throughout all the earth. And of course he has not cast away his people. You know, we're the first ones. But it's not to be puffed up and carried away in conceit, thinking we're going to bring about something that's not in his will yet. Go out and be an example to the Gentiles. So y'all can choose. Who he's going to save from every nation. Matthew 15, 22, 28. And behold, a woman of Canaan, Gentile, came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O sovereign, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. See, they, they only saw his, his, his action, but Yahushua was acting in judgment. He was trying to see if she was worthy for the blessing. He's very wise. But they say, just because they, they thought he was acting that way for a certain reason, they thought they, was, they thought it to be righteous within themselves and say, well, send her away, you know, she's bothering us. But that's not what he was after. He was after, after her response, after her, her, her action, to see how, how she was going to respond. He let her fruit speak for herself, to count herself worthy. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him. So she worshipped him, saying, Sovereign, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth. She didn't bite, fight with him, argue with him. She accepted it because he's the truth. You, you right, Abba. I mean, you right, uh, Hamashiach. Sovereign. Yet the dogs eat the crumbs which are which fall from the master's table. Then Yahushua Hamashiach answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Malachi 1, 10 through 14. Who is there even among you that would shut the doors for naught? Neither do you kindle fire on my altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, says the sovereign of hosts. Neither will I accept an offering at your hand. For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place incense shall be offered unto my name, and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the heathen, says uh, the sovereign of hosts. But ye have profaned it. In that you say, the table of the sovereign is polluted, 
and the fruits thereof, even his meat, is contemptible. You said also, Behold, what a weariness it is, and you have snuffed it up, snuffed at it, says the sovereign of hosts. You brought that which was torn and, and the lame and the sick. Thus you brought an offering. Shall I accept this of your hand, says, uh, says uh, the sovereign? You said, so, so basically I'm going to say what I believe that is saying. We're Abraham's seed. We don't have to go out of our way, do nothing special. You know, we, we this is ours anyway. We don't have to. We privileged. You said also, behold. What a wordness it is. And you have snuffed at it, says uh, the sovereign of hosts. And you brought that which was uh, torn and the lame and the sick. Thus you brought an offering. Should I accept this at, of your hand, says the sovereign? But cursed be the deceiver, which has in his flock a male, and voweth and sacrificed unto the, to, uh, uh, to the uh, Abba a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, says the sovereign of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. Part 1.